as a mother because I knew that's a bullet which has hit a child. Mr. Speaker, I didn't know what to do. But they would have been allowed just to come. We've, we've had many people in, in, the, in the gallery, the speaker's gallery and the public gallery, to listen. And even we've had many people bring their petitions here, and we have dealt with them. I want to condole with the, with the families and tell the agencies of Kenya, first of all, I want to congratulate them because we are here today discussing this motion because they came out. Why? Because they are fed up with the state of the nation and how they are living as our young people. And surely, Mr. Speaker, I saw one of them admitted in, in, in Kenyatta National Hospital. And he was saying that he was shot on the back. But thank God, he was shot together with Eric uh, Chalo Muticia. Chal Chalo Muticia uh, lost his life. But this one survived and he was in a hospital. And he was saying that he is demonstrating because he has been looking for a job for the last 10 years since he graduated. And many of them have even more than 10 years. Mr. Speaker, they have all rights to demonstrate and to, to ask the government to provide them with jobs. There are ways, Mr. Speaker, of providing these young people with jobs. Because 30% of all jobs in the counties, the 47 counties, belong to the youth, women, and people living with disability. If these jobs, together with the national government, are given to them rightfully without partiality, Mr. Speaker, these children will have jobs, even as others do the, the jobs that they do for, through the internet. Mr. Speaker, it has become so difficult for our young people even to get police jobs and army jobs. I've heard many of them saying that they've been asked for, to, to give uh, bribes to, 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 uh, to, to, to amounts of uh, like 300,000. I've had cases where parents have approached me telling me that they've sold piece of land to bribe for their, jobs, uh, for their children to get jobs and they've not been able to be employed. Mr. Speaker, I want to call upon the president of the country of Kenya. Because I know he listens. And I know he has humor. To see what he can do to these young people. And provide jobs for them. I looked at him the other day as he was being interviewed. And I saw a king without a covering. A naked king. Why? Because he was there, he was being asked questions about people he gave jobs who are not doing their jobs the way they should be doing their jobs and they were nowhere to be seen. Mr. Speaker, it's a shame. It's a shame. I want to call upon the CSS to take their mandate and do their, their jobs the way they should do their jobs and cover the president because they are there not covering him as in not failing, for failing to do their jobs. But they should do their jobs the way they are mandated to do their jobs. If they do their jobs properly, Mr. Speaker, without corruption, nobody will go to the streets to demonstrate. Mr. Speaker, I want to stand and say, all of us as a country and as a nation as leaders, we have failed. Because many are the times, even here in the Senate, we take sides on partisan. And we do what our parties are guiding us to do. And we forget that we have been sent here by Kenyans who elected us to come and represent them. And many are times, we pass even laws that are against them. Mr. Speaker, as we reflect from the president to the least of the, in this country, we must now think and see how we will work to bring sanity to our country, to bring sanity to parliament, to bring sanity to every organization in this country. And Mr. Speaker, many of, uh, of these issues are happening because 
people are given directions on how to vote. And even when a law is hurting, 